and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today we're going to start an, another brand new build. We're going to be building the 1966 Batmobile from Fanhome. Been waiting for this for a long time. I think it was three years ago the first time I saw anything about it. <clears throat> and it was with Eagle Moss and then they went out of business unfortunately and never released it. But it is finally here. So the first thing we're going to look at is the pamphlet. It says subscribe and receive these free gifts. You're going to get three posters, the mug, the license plate, and the cap. Kind of cool. Then we open this up, and inside here we're talk they talk about the live-action TV series, the Batmobile, which was actually, I believe, believe it was called a uh, Ford Futura that they just modified. Never, I don't think it was ever an actual production car. Open it up, and you can see lots of things that are going to be working. The working headlights, detailed engine, which is funny because it's a V8 with a turbo. <laughs> with a jet engine on the back. I guess this is the turbo. Um, you got the, the trunk will open a, a reveal the prime computer, your fire extinguisher, bat phone. Emergency turn, turn, bat turn lever, which I think it's kind of funny. We all know how to do a U-turn. Steering wheel, detailed dashboard, bat scope, which will extend. The bat scope, um, actually, it's kind of like radar. Something I'm kind of surprised they didn't do is figure out a way to put lights in the, uh, in the pillar lamps up, up the top. And there is the poster that, like always, they send. Usually, they send a full size one. This one is not the you know this is an angle rather than full size side view. Although no, and this is not twenty eight inches, but twenty eight inches will be significantly large. So here's the first pack, and it's got the iconic hood, got some screws, got the bat phone. Got the cheap screwdriver that most of us throw away. So let's go ahead and get the book open. Underneath the hood, that you don't, what you don't see until you open the parts, is some actual frameworks. Let me go ahead and peel this open. And I like the fact that this is a normal bubble pack. That once you get the paper off. It's a two-part bubble pack, so the parts, once they're in, once they're they've been assembled. Wow, did not see that before. But once the parts are assembled, I can put it back in here to protect the protect the uh, paint. Not sure how I feel about the fact that the packaging is blown up right there, especially. You know, these are significantly expensive models. This should not make it out of the factory or out of the shipping uh, agent, I don't think. Since this is a painted piece, I'm going to go ahead and bring the black mat over, which I didn't haven't had for other parts, other... Um, yeah, other part works. Let's get the hood out. And this should be, should be immaculate. Magic word being should. There's some stuff on there. Nothing, the paint work is okay. Pretty good. There's a couple ripples right up here in the paint work. Not happy about that. And you can see spotting. And I know that I've seen other people that have taken this and took, taken some actual car, pol car wax and polished it out and made it look uh, fantastic. I'm probably going to have to do the same thing. Then we got the bat phone, bat phone, the base of the bat phone, the screwdriver. And that looks like, let me double check, not that one. Believe that this is going to be a PHO. 
yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on camera, but that looks to be a PHO. Toss this screwdriver that came with it in the bin with all the others. Let's turn the page and start building. I've seen other people build this part of the uh, build, do this part of the build, so pretty sure I know what's going on. I am actually surprised. This is a lot flimsier than I thought it would be. And to me, if you're, you know, it's not going to take any pressure because the metal, the die cast hood, but this could have been die cast. I mean, it is very flimsy. And that's, I believe every other car model that I've built, every other car part work, the hood or the uh, framework under the hood has been die cast. Since this is die cast, that the screws are going to be going into, let me go ahead and get the oil out. Get the screws out. Interesting, they're all AM screws, so that means. Is it? Okay, there is no screw here. I was thinking the bat phone might have a screw in it. And again, that is another. Just looking at having watched other people build, that is, this is to me is another spot where they could have done some fantastic detailing. I know somebody is probably going to print something like this, print something for this as a replacement. It would be really cool if they'd have put a small LED in there and made this from translucent plastic. But Let's go ahead and put the, uh, what is it that it says? Inside with two pieces together with AM screws. It doesn't say. Usually it tells you how many screws you've got. Let me see. I was almost going to put screws in the wrong spot. I was gonna looking to put screws here. No screws go there. I'm going to just get screws started all the way around the hood. And then I'll tighten them all down. Like I said, I, I am very excited for this build. I have waited for it for a long time. I actually built 11 years ago, I think it was. I built the uh, 66 Batmobile from Polar Lights. And it came with the figures of Batman and Robin. And I put lights in it. I put lights in the engine. And using the uh, flame from a tea light, I actually put an afterburner on the engine with a flame coming out of it. I think it, can't, that one turned out really cool. I hope this one would be just as cool. You know, it, it's going to be a cool kit. I'm just hoping that there's not going to be dis a lot of disappointing spots. And I will tell you that right now my uh, feelings towards Fan Home here lately have been a little bit, Fan Home and Diagostini have been a little bit taxed because they're doing some things I don't really appreciate. And, but I'll, I'll continue building the builds I've got. That's all I'm going to say on that. So let's go ahead and put these, continue putting in these screws. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is number eight, nine, ten. It's going to be a total of ten screws in here. I'm going to get in that hole. Yeah, the way, the way things have been going here lately, I'm probably going to go back to, as the part work's finished, I'm going to go back to doing only wooden and styrene models. I think after the ones I've got going right now, with the exception of the ones that I get from Agora, because I love Agora, the way they do their stuff. Agora... 
has been head and shoulders above all the other companies with, uh, as far as I'm concerned, with um, artwork, customer service. And that that's the thing is when I'm paying the kind of money you pay for one of these, you know, almost $2,000, I expect a little bit better customer service than they've been giving of late. So let me get these screws tightened back in and feel free because people usually don't hold back, but feel free in the comments if you care to discuss or flame me for my opinions about the things that are going on in the part work world right now. I'm, somebody may say something about, why don't I just quit? Because I want the models, that's why. You know, that's how it works out. Okay. <clears throat> and I don't know, maybe a little bit of, of it could be that I'm I'm feeling fine as far as I'm concerned, but maybe I'm not 100% because we're coming into spring and pollen's in the air. But, you know, so I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, a little bit raspy. Wow. You can see the pore marks. I mean, that I hate to keep beating this up, but that looks like styrene pore marks. So, yeah, this definitely needs to be polished. So that's it for the uh, hood. And then for the bat phone, it's just... You have this base. Kind of interested to see what they're going to do. Because you push the base on. Or simply pushed in, not held by screws. So the bat phone sits in the car. But I'm curious what keeps it from falling out. How is it going to be attached? Probably some side of, sort of uh, glue sticker. And I have noticed watching other people's vi videos that you can actually take that off. I do have to say, really nice coiling on the, uh, on the cord for the bat phone. So I'm thinking, well, I'm very excited about the build. I'm thinking that it, this, this one, after waiting for it for, for it for three years, might be a mixed mixed bag. Now, that honest opinion. I've given honest opinions on every kit that I've ever built. I mean, when uh, Eagle Moss came out with the wooden Titanic, I ordered it, or I ordered it. The first pack came in. I took one look at it, and I did a video that said, I won't build this because it's not worth the money. But that's another story. So I'm looking forward to the build. Don't get, don't get me wrong. I'm looking forward to the build on this. I'm hoping pieces will come out, will be a little bit better presented in the future. I'm hoping not to get busted bubble packs when I get parts. And I will be storing the hood and the bat phone in the bubble pack. Which, honestly, what this feels like at this point, like with the bat phone being two pieces, it feels like the Enterprise Windows. They did a lot of parts just to make it feel you feel like you had a lot to do. So that's my opinion. Don't, I mean, if you love the kit, then build it. I'm going to continue building it. I'm going to build it. All the way through but I'm going to give honest opinions about things that I'm not really impressed with once this hood is polished I it will be fantastic I know somebody who did that who put car wax on it it sparkles it's just that it didn't get cleaned up the way it should have after it was painted so um, that's all for this video like subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of of 
when I post new videos. And I do appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for very, very much for spending part of your day with me. Come on over to Hobby Time Modelers on Facebook, YouTube, and Discord. See what we're doing. We do a stream, a group stream on Friday evenings and ah, Friday evenings and Sunday afternoons. Plus, there's a perfect grade Bandai Millennium Falcon group build going on on Wednesday evenings. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. And I will see you on the next video.